programme like Soapbox Science is absolutely fantastic. It puts women out there on their soapboxes, in the streets, in the most unlikely places that you think you might bump into a scientist and just shows everyday people, the public, that there are women scientists out there. Um, they don't, you know, not all scientists are men with grey hair and look like Albert Einstein. It's a really important thing to do. My name is Amy Edgington and I'm a PhD student. Uh, um, it was so exciting and it was so much fun and the audience is so great and they really, really enjoyed it. So I feel pretty good coming off of the soapbox and just really pleased and I think it went really well. So um, I think programs like this are incredibly important for promoting female scientists. Um, the reason I got involved with Soapbox Science is that I really wanted to try and put my kind of research out there on the soapbox and, talk, and lots of public engagement and Soapbox Science is great for that. Talking to the public and telling them and telling them why I'm so excited about what I do. That radio I think events like Soapbox Science are important in empowering women to go out and speak to the public a little bit more and then similarly the public are going to be more used to seeing women in the scientific space. Soapbox Science and events like Soapbox Science are going to be seminal in changing the public's perceptions of who does science. I think it's going to change the picture that pops up in people's heads when someone says the word astronomer or scientist or doctor or anything like that. It's going to change it from being a guy to being a woman, and I think that really is very, very valuable. Is it for water being a liquid? And temperature range. Temperature. Temperature is very important. Uh, what dictates the temperature of a planet? Women's science is something that we want to show. We are women, we are working in science. Science is a thing, it's not a thing for girls or for boys, it's just a thing. And if you are passionate about science, you have to do that. So this is something that guide me actually to a point and to ask to be part of Women in Science and Soapbox today. Because it's a great opportunity to show what we are doing and that we are going like everybody else with no differences. We show that women can do science. We are here and we are actually trying and struggle sometimes to do our science in a balanced way. So this is actually a good opportunity for us to show that we are there and doing great stuff. You might find out that you see other art and other ways of actually quantifying. Having gone through most of my career thinking, oh, it doesn't make a difference whether you're male or female, I've become more aware in recent years that there, ha there are still effects. There are still differences in the way people think about women as opposed to men, the expectations that we have of each other. And I think in the light of all of that, it's these sorts of events are crucial. We have to get up there. Women have so many important things to say and interesting points of view and it's important that we say them and that we're heard and that we encourage other women to say them. <laughs>